Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're listening and tuning in. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Preparing to Quantum Leap in the Season of Letting Go. I am your host, Darla, and you are tuned into The 30 Journey. Hello again, guys. Welcome or welcome back. I am very excited to talk about today's topic. In day 19, episode 19, we're going to talk about springing forward. Let's get into today's social media clip. I think it's time to let it go. Like you're moving into a whole new place. God is doing something special, but it's important that you make room for it. God's doing a new thing. He knows what he's doing. The question is, do you perceive it? If you're not aware that something's new is coming, you never make room for the new. Forget the old, but embrace the new. Y'all, it's giving Lion King. It is time. It is time. (laughs) The scripture says, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Y'all, are you ready? Last year, around this time, I started the final season. The final season of the 30 journey started the first day of spring. I uploaded video after video after video. Every weekday, I was uploading a video, something I had never done on my channel. And I always wanted to do that. And I did it for a month straight. A full circle, almost 365 days later, I'm ending this particular season doing the same thing for 21 days to close it out. Because this 21 days ends on the last day of winter, right before the first day of spring. I can't make this stuff up. I would love to tell you guys that that was the whole plan from the very beginning. It was not. And I just can't believe how God has revealed himself yet again in all of these things. All I knew was that he was telling me to start this 21 day journey the Monday after Lent. And that's what I did. And as I counted out the days, I saw that it was going to actually end right before the first day of spring. But what I didn't realize was that full circle moment from where it started almost 365 days prior. It is another reason why I firmly believe that when you operate in obedience, your mind will be blown because at the end of the day, I know what's coming in this next season. I understand the beauty within the season that we're entering. And like I say to you guys all the time, it's my favorite season. I hope you recognize what this means for your life. I hope you see the beautiful patterns, synchronicities, and blessings that are being shown to you when you just operate in obedience and honor your father. Going back to that scripture, it is time to forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. I've been talking to you guys about this For the past, we're on day 19 now. So for the past 18 days, within letting go of former things, letting go of the things of the past, letting go of the trauma, the pain, the amazing moments, all of it, let it go and thank God for every bit of it. But look towards the future. Y'all, it is truly time to spring forward, not just changing the clocks, not just going through the motions of going and entering into a new season, but to truly spring forward into new beginnings. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Springing forward, like I said, is one of my favorite times of the year, even within losing the hour of sleep. Because one of the things that I love the most is that extra hour of sunlight. 
that extra hour of daylight. It energizes you. It allows you to be able to do more within the day. It is a complete mood shifter. I know some of y'all are waking up out of that slumber that you might have been in for the past two, three months and you feel more energized because that's what this does. And within moving and operating within the different seasons that are happening around you, it is truly a testament of what's happening on the inside of you as well. Be mindful of the spring season as a whole because we realize that things that were once either dead or dormant begin to grow again. A lot of things start sprouting up and a lot of the ground and hibernating animals begin to awaken. This is a beautiful, beautiful season, guys. And I pray that you allow yourself to grow through it, understand how amazing life is about to get and prepare for the next cycle of your life and the season that is going to bring and spring forward so much fruit. I appreciate you guys for joining me for day 19. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you like it. That helps out so, so much. And I look forward to seeing you guys within the last two days in this season of letting go while preparing to quantum leap. Take care, guys. Talk soon.